I'm back with a part three of my Voltex battery review. Now, I actually realized that I stuffed up on my previous impressions of these batteries. Okay, I've done two other previous videos on these batteries. If you want to go back, please watch those. Um, but if you just want a quick overview on the batteries and what to look for uh, and buying a lithium battery, watch on. Now, I like to say I stuffed up when I did my initial t uh, test on these batteries. I'm probably guilty of watching too many YouTube reviews where they tear a battery down, charge it up, uh, it does it amp our capacity, hey, it looks well built, job done. But really, it's not about that. It's about how well the battery works as a storage device. You know, the, the Chinese aren't stupid. They're watching these YouTube videos and they're building a battery to match what people are doing, I believe. So they've built a really good quality battery, you know, by looks. Um, I've pulled apart, you know, higher spec batteries than these that are put together so much worse. Um, so, you know, you cannot complain about how these things are built, but that's easy to do. Once you set up a manufacturing process, it's easy to chuck things together like this and make it look good. Um, the bad points about these batteries is the BMS is very average, it doesn't balance the cells very well, and the cells are imbalanced. So if you were to purchase these batteries, charge them up initially, uh, you'll end up finding what I had is cell imbalance. The, the cells charged up all over the place. Uh, and this would lead to the, um, a continuation of this as, you, as a life of the battery, as one cell never charges properly and slowly losing capacity on the battery. So the battery over time will slowly die. So when you're looking for a battery, look at a battery, don't worry about the amp hour capacity, because hey, you're never gonna use 100 amp hours in a night or two nights, really. You're looking for a battery that will actually work well as a storage device. And that's how well the, say, the cells stay balanced over the life of the battery. That is the biggest failure point that I've seen with lithium batteries is cell imbalance. So what do you look for when you buy a battery? You look for, I believe, a battery that has a good quality BMS. So something that'll have, you know, a hundred amp dis discharge capacity for a hundred amp hour battery. Um, and also active cell balancing. This is, I believe, an important thing to add extra life and most high end lithium batteries. So I'm talking, you know, uh, $900 plus. There are cheaper ones out there but I can't see how you can make a battery for less than sort of the $800 mark um, due to the price of cells. 100 amp hour cells are about 150 bucks each to purchase. I know that's retail price, but you add up all that up and you're lucky if you could build a, a decent battery for less than, um, you know, $800 by the time you put the whole thing together. So, you know, that's where you're stuck with is that sort of thousand dollar price mark for a battery that's in a case and got a good warranty. Um, there's not much more I could say. Yes, if you want a bit of a challenge like me, go and buy these batteries uh, and pull them apart. I'm going to add active cell balancing. I bought an act two active cell balances and I'm going to add it to the batteries. Um, I've got nothing to lose. And um, and next, step after this is I actually purchased some uh, 100 amp hour cells, uh, A grade cells, and we're going to do a comparison between what an A grade cell works like versus a um, Voltex battery. So stay tuned for that and, and we'll go from there. Okay, 